Right now at 4 o'clock, new sightings today of that convicted murderer on the run in Chester County. Trail cameras at Longwood Gardens capture these images of Danilo Cavalcante on two separate occasions last night, causing authorities to shift their targeted search area. It is Tuesday afternoon, a busy one. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Christy Aletto. Sarah is off. The big story on Action News is day six of the manhunt for the escaped prisoner in Chester County. The images captured last night show that Cavalcante is now carrying a duffel bag and a backpack as he continues to elude the hundreds of law enforcement officers working to track him down right now. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live once again outside the Chester County Prison in Pocopson Township. Maggie, a bigger search area today. Oh, definitely, Brian. They had to expand after seeing those trail camera images as you just showed. Now, it's been f six days, five credible sightings of Danilo Cavalcante, and those new trail camera images also prompting two school districts to cancel in-person class as well. A convicted murderer on the run for six days now, spotted again on the Longwood Gardens property last night. Cavalcante is depicted in the photo walking north at 8.21 p.m. and then back south through the same location at 9.33 p.m. Based off these new images captured by a trail camera, we know escape prisoner Danilo Cavalcante has broken into either a home, garage, or car. He's now carrying a backpack and a duffel bag. Please secure homes, outbuildings, and vehicles. Cavalcante has clearly already obtained some clothing and unknown other supplies, and we want to minimize any opportunity to obtain anything more. Now state police have expanded their search area, blocking off through traffic on additional roads. They found a point that he could squeeze through that perimeter and he traveled south. We'll now expand that perimeter or, and, and, and move it so that we can try and encapsulate him again. As the days stretch on, neighbors' concern only grows. Does it surprise you it's entered into its sixth day? It has, yes. I've been out of town over the holiday weekend, so coming back and realizing that this was still going on um, has surprised me. Hopefully they have them cornered down into a certain area and uh, they get them soon. And again, that is their goal to get Cavalcante stuck in a certain area with that perimeter and, of course, searching thoroughly through it until they find him. State police have been really upfront about how difficult this search is because of the heavily wooded areas at points. They say they can't see other troopers about two yards away from them. It is quite a difficult search, but they have everyone on it, including the FBI and U.S. Customs and Border Patrol agents. We are live in Pocopson Township, Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Christy.